Kidder County didn't just say goodbye to its elementary school this year, but also many impactful teachers. New this morning, reporter Aaron Fields traveled to Steele and spoke with two of the educators retiring from the district. We've done some projects together, and so um, we just kind of, and neither one of us are married, so that kind of helps. <laughs> Gladys Gear and Kareen Zinker are not only friends, but co-workers. Gear has taught for 48 years and Zinker 38. And these recent retirees both tell me they always knew it was their calling. My mom always said, was, you'll be a music teacher. As a matter of fact, when I was young, I remember the Mormon Tabernacle Choir. My mom had a record, and I would direct that record. When I graduated, your choices were so different than they are now. It's either you would have been a nurse, a secretary, or a teacher. And of those, I knew that I loved teaching. These North Dakota ladies have experienced so many changes throughout their careers, especially when it comes to teaching in a small school district. But other than seeing two schools in their community close down, they say their experiences have been nothing short of awesome. Steel is nice. You're not living in the bigger city. Uh, it's an easy drive. And yet your kids get to know their whole class, not just a few people. Like many other teachers are tiring this year, it wasn't the way they wanted to go. I always thought I would retire quietly but probably not quite this quietly. Never having that final closure of saying goodbye, and especially as the Tappan School closed and I walked out of that school, I thought this was it. You just didn't get to see the kids face to face. You didn't get to work with them face to face when they needed help. But it's their memories they will have forever. Gear shows me her three binders she's created since starting teaching, and Zinker shares her throwback DVDs of concerts from years past. Their last messages. I just love what you do and love what you can give to children and do the very best you can every day because that's what you're there for. Love those kids. They become your kids. I always said I maybe didn't have any kids that were actually mine, but yet I had tons of them. Reporting in Steel for KX News, Aaron Fields. Zenker isn't saying goodbye forever. She plans on substitute teaching, and Gare tells us she will be volunteering with a program that will have her reading books to kids in the hospital. Congratulations to you both from us at KX News.